this is going to be the final gear update for Panther. Um, this is there's not going to be any more updates to the game, so this is the ideal gear. This is as good as it gets. It's not getting better than this. All right. What has changed for Panther with the, in the latest update? Uh, faster movement when you hold down intrinsic. It's cute. Doesn't really matter. Um, your beads can trigger tachyon surge when you explode them on enemies, which is really good. Tachyon surge is awesome, and Panther can now get right better stat relics from the cloning labs. All right, the melee piece. You want a piece with. Proficiency in Valor and a 2.1 or a 2.2, very important. Um, I don't know of any offline vendors for something like this, but this is what you want. Ideally, a heavy combo finisher status and the perfect top perk would be Faultless Spark, but you know, not super important. What you really want is a rampant assistance and proficiency in Valor on these. You know, ideally, a gold triple stat. Yeah. It's just an RNG piece. You can get it from chests and panders randomly. The range piece, you want a tachyon surge, targeted spark piece with valor. The ideal would be kinetic daggers. Devastating daggers aren't worthless, and the third ones basically are worthless. Yeah, you don't really care if it's a two stat or a three stat, if it's valor my, valor my precision, whatever. Valor my intensity, valor precision intensity, as long as it has valor and targeted spark. I would say that's good enough. I'd keep it. And if you want this piece, you got to save Scum Tachyon Anomaly. You know, it, it would take, on average, I think, like an hour and a half to three hours to get something like this of save Scum in. So it's a bit. But if you want the best Panther build, you have to get this piece. There's there's no way around it. And yeah, the beads, exploding the beads can trigger Tachyon Surge now. So Tachyon Surge is great. Mostly what it does is it makes your, spe your spears hit harder, and they build up vibranium faster, which is cute. It's pretty useful, too. And yeah, the spears are Panther's hardest-hitting ability by far, so that's good. Chest piece, you want a reactive damage buff. The gr awesome thing about reactive buffs for Panther is throwing your spears, and you have three of them, and you, because you're a heroic build that constantly gets more spears, you throw a lot of spears, and it, every time you do, it's about a 1 in 6, 1 in 7 chance, depending on your proficiency, of giving you a damage buff, which is 65% damage for 12 seconds. And, I mean, that's uh, very good, or maybe OP, right? And you want a reactive buff with Valorant proficiency, ideally a triple stat gold with another useful stat. You know, something like this. I don't know if an offline vendor for one, but just an RNG piece. The heroic piece, you want Legacy then Conquered, you get it from Villain Sectors. Here's the stat pool, you definitely want Valor. I'd say get a triple stat, and depending on what your other stats are, you definitely want one resolve for the build. But if you already have another piece of resolve, you know, you could go to a Valor Might Precision. Valor Might Resolve, Valor Precision Resolve, all are good. The real important perk of this is the middle perk, the Intrinsic Orbs from the Spears. Every time you hit an enemy with a Spear, it drops an Intrinsic Orb. One orb will fully overcharge you, and that's super important. And you can hit multiple enemies, and they'll drop multiple orbs with one spear. And this is the perk you get from the exotic version, a small debuff on enemies that have the beads on them. They take a little more damage. That's cool. And the top perk, you get a third squad person that fights guys and does a bit of vibranium damage. You know, that's cool. Yeah. It's a very good piece. This is the reason it matters. Stat relics. The the base basic stat relic is just a Valor relic. Um, you can't get them from the vendors anymore, but I mean it's just a triple stat Valor relic. It's not hard to find, you know. The perks don't really matter on it either. The ideal stat relic is going to look something like this: Valor, Valor, and Proficiency is what you want. A Proficiency, Proficiency, Valor would also probably be better than just this. It's just more stats, right? 108 times 3 is 90 more stats than 78 times 3. You know, it's just... This would be the best bottom perk. And this is cool. It makes, it'll make your panther you throw out from the old hit a little harder. You know, it's cool. But really, it's mostly the stats that matter. 
because this can give you more stats than this piece. This is better. You have to get it from the cloning labs. This piece you get from the cloning labs. You know, I don't even have this for Panther yet, but just keep running cloning labs and hope you get it. But in the meantime, two of these is good enough. Ideally, two of these. Exotic relic. Exotic relic. You want the ring for Panther, no question. The ring is super good for Panther. It makes it so one intrinsic orb will fully max out your intrinsic meter, which is very important. Orbs will also give you 50% more for the heroic orbs, so that means 1.5 or you're going to give about 4.5 times as much if you do it while your percussive blast is active from the 2.1. It multiplies with this, so your orbs are going to give you 4.5 times as much heroic energy, which is really good. And it got buffed, where Cornucopia can spam once every 60 seconds. So I don't think you don't need a Cosmic piece, Cosmic Surge relic for him anymore. Just, you know, make sure you spam Cornucopia. It's good. Orbs for you or the teammates. You know, Intrinsic Orbs are really good, and the Heroic Orbs are amazing. The, the Health Orbs kind of suck, but, you know, the odds are you won't get them. And your teammates can pick up the orbs. The ring is a really good relic, and especially for Panther, it's the only one even worth considering. Champion points. Same ones as anyone else. The current ones are the best, and these ones are decent uh, garbage. Right. Here are the skills. Um, if you want, you can watch my previous Panther build. He plays the same way. He is always. It's just the gear is a little bit better now. But yeah, specialty skills. Here's the mastery skills if you just want to screenshot and copy them. Stat priority. Again, Valor is the best stat, then proficiency. At max level, you should have around 800 Valor, which means your crit damage is 600%. So if you crit, you do six times damage, which is absurd, right? And that's part of the reason proficiency is so good, right? If you do six times more damage and you're more likely to crit, that's a big DPS increase. Also, you're more likely to trigger your Tachyon Surge and your targeted spark and even actually your damage buff is more likely to trigger with proficiency which are your best your most important perks right super important so proficiency is amazing but valor is your best stat secondary you want a piece of resolve you really don't need to but you want one and sort of with intensity you definitely want one the status buildup for the spears is good and the stun damage from the beads is important but you don't need a second it's not that good and the third piece is almost worthless. Resilience is, ugh, it's horrible. It's like the worst stat in the game for every character. You don't want it. Precision and Might are both useful. Precision makes your daggers hit harder, Might makes your melee hit harder, and you do the light combo finisher, which does melee into, into range, so it does a little bit of both. And But Precision is a little better than Might because it makes your spears hit harder as well, and Might will make your panther hit harder, which is useful, but Precision is a little bit better. They're both fine. Yeah, you definitely want one resolve, one intensity, mostly valor, and proficiency. Right, that's why the gear is back the way it is. Overall, Panther is a little bit better than he was. Tachyon Surge definitely makes him better. Um, it's pretty easy to build, except the range piece, although you can just use a generic targeted spark range piece. He's great at dealing with tons of enemies. His range damage is actually really strong. Like in the cloning labs, the spears one shot basically every enemy in the game. So that's that's always nice. Stun damage is good, you know. Stun guys, so you can do takedowns. He's good at bouncing enemies around and taunting them, right? For the mostly for the elite raid, you rain intrinsic orbs for your team, and the bass chosen overcharges your teammates. You're immortal while bass chosen is active, and you hold intrinsic. So 24/7 immortality is never bad, right? It's always good. He can't fly. He's not the hardest hitting class in the game, but Panther's honestly one of the best classes in the game. And I think Panther's the most fun character in the game to play. Yeah, Panther's awesome, yeah. And I did include a video where I do the Harm Room Brutal A difficulty. If you want to see what it looks like, sort of how to play it, you can do that. Also, the old build guide, I'll drop that in the description. Functionally, they play the same. It's just the old build guy. There were some cheese perks that don't really matter anymore, and the gear was a little bit worse because better gear didn't exist then. But yeah, that's the Panther guide. 
this Panther build is as good as it gets. Trust me, it doesn't get better. This is as good as it gets, you know. Hope you enjoy, hope it's helpful, and I'll, I'll drop some more videos on other characters soon. Alright, later.